Okay, in this video we are going to power up the acorn board. And I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to just follow the wiring diagrams as closely as possible. If you follow the wiring diagrams, you will be okay. Uh, I occasionally, sometimes I try to be creative and when it comes to electrical things, every time I do that, I usually cause a problem. So don't be like me. Don't be creative with the electrical stuff. Just follow the directions just as they are on the wiring diagram. So we're using the Acorn Rev3 Connections to Lead Shine DM Series Stepper Drive wiring schematic. And it's pretty straightforward. What we're doing here is your Acorn. It requires 24 volts uh, to power it. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect the green wire. We're going to go from the, the ground on the power supply to what they call chassis here on the H9 connector. The yellow wire is for positive 24 volts. We're going to connect it there. And then the black wire is negative 24 volts. We're going to connect it to this common. And then we're going to run a positive 24 volt wire all the way around the outside over here to the uh, input side of the board. And that's because uh, that's what this wiring diagram shows. So I asked, I actually asked Centroid about this. I was like, hey, why, why do you run this 24 volt wire on the outside here like this? Why doesn't the power run through the board? And the answer is the, the board is designed this way to make it more versatile. So in some cases, you may want to power your inputs with 24 volts. In other cases, you may need a different voltage. But here again, we're going to follow this, this wiring diagram as closely as possible, and we're going to do exactly what it says. So let's just jump over and look at the setup here. So on the back side of the power supply, this is the 24 volt power supply. We're going to run a ground wire to the acorn. We're going to run, and that'll be green, a yellow wire for the positive 24 volt voltage and a black wire for the negative 24 volt voltage. So let's flip it over here. And you'll see, I'll hold the phone. That is exactly what we have right here. We have, get this to focus. We have the green wire, chassis ground, the black wire is the common. And this is the yellow wire that's bringing 24 volts to the acorn. And then we have this other yellow wire, which is going to bring 24 volts over here to the input part of the board. And if we've done that correctly, and let's see, I'll just leave that here. I'm going to power up the board. And what you should see are some blue lights. there we go we have a acorn heartbeat now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to fire up lathe wizard and what we're going to do is we're going to load the bench test settings and that should uh, put everything in here that we need to bench test this acorn Just check this. All right, so you can see what it did. Everything's normally closed, unused, unused, unused. It has e stop on eight. All right, so bench test settings. Let's write those settings to the configuration. Settings are saved. And now, when we open up CNC 12 lathe, See, this will be the first time for this board. That's rebooting. Let it do this. Follow the directions. Uh, let's see. All right. 
we're going to start CNC 12 again. And there we go, it's happy. So that is the process. We just did it all together, went through that. that that's pretty much what it's going to look like for you as well. And now what I can do here is simulate uh, setting home. I guess it wants me to reset trip, e, trip to e-stop. There we go. And now the acorn is in bench test mode. So it's not really going to move anything because we don't have anything hooked up. But we can, we can see what happened there. We, we powered up the board. We configured the wizard. We uh, updated the firmware on the acorn and we've launched the CNC 12 software and so far everything is happy so pretty good all right uh, we'll keep this video short thanks for watching and be safe